which is definitely boom. Hold on. Found the pipe. Are you sure the pipe is? Yeah, <laughs> it's buried again. So the next botch up was uh, this. Good Saturday morning. Morning. Saturday the 1st of July, is it? Bloody you would not half, think so. That's half of 2023 gone. Oh yeah, we're back in the pants. And we're in pants, pants and hoodies. hoodies. It is absolutely freezing today. Yeah. It's it's nice 14 degrees, but this wind is brutal. Yeah. But I prefer that to 30 degree heat. Yeah. Right, what we're doing. We're going to... Oh, when the bathroom's redone, that the soil pipe is being relocated to there. So that's we're gonna put a soil pipe in here and we're gonna we're actually gonna connect that into the manhole. So we'll either use the existing soil pipe, which we'll see about, or we're gonna use the pipe from the gully, because that's been disregarded. So hopefully we can fix the to the gully pipe to save us getting rid of the toilet. So the toilet will be kept in as long as possible. Uh, so if we can avoid getting rid of the toilet, we will. If not, it's just it is what it is. Uh, we're, on, we're into clay, so we're going to need some um, adapters, plastic to clay. So this is our manhole, and we've just been in the greenhouse where we have two two manholes. Gonna... Oh, Alex, Alex has gone that way. <laughs> so first, we've got the first one up, and we chucked. Chuck some water down that surface gully and that came straight in straight to that little one there you can see it's a bit clogged up but that's only surface water so it's just silt and stuff looks like the main is very rarely used you can see it's a six inch main and you've got this branch coming in and obviously you've got next door's surface water coming in from this side and then we lifted this one up which is definitely the foul. Alex has um, flushed the toilet, you can see it's foul anyway by how clean it is. So there's our branch coming in. So there's your six inch main again down into the street. And then you've got our, our four inch 100 mil heading back towards that manhole. So we're going to get a line up, spray up to locate that pipe. And then once we've, once we've, we're going to dig about here, probably about here so as shallow as possible. And we're going to put a chamber in here and connect into the, to the, the main and we're going to put a gully in at that far end because this, I think the sink's going down there so there'll be a gully coming all the way down here connects it into here I think we'll be able to put a T or a Y on here because we'll put a rodable gully in so it can be rodded back to the main you can rod back from that to here and you can rod from there to here so there's no need for a chamber so put a Y or a T in it so that's, that's okay and then here we should just be connecting on to one of the existing pipes that are coming into this chamber. So yeah, a lot of flags to take up, a lot of digging. So um, time to get cracking. No point you having a mic on today. Uh, I've, I've spoke. Can you hear me now? <laughs> right, let's start digging. Plenty of tablets today to keep me, keep me supple and bendy. <laughs> so I'll catch you in a bit.
while I'm doing the battery change. Here's our charger. This is DJ as well. Oh, there you go, DJ is on the top. Got a little cable at the side. There's your batteries. There's your button to give you how your batteries are doing. Just change the dead one. That one's already live. This one's going to get plugged into the radio because while that's charging, this is the mics in their little little box where they live. That's actually um this is the charger, this is the this is where they all live together. There's a receiver and there's your two mics and basically they they sync together automatically. So as soon as you open that box, they sync, you take them out of the box, plug them in and away you go. And I think this is probably the third time maybe we've had to charge this box. It's um, absolutely fantastic. It's just it's foolproof. It must be foolproof for us to use it. We yeah, highly recommended it. I think about 280 quid for the whole lot. So, but uh, once the once that gets to four bars, it, it keeps the batteries charged for for ages. So they just charge. They, obviously, they get put in there and they just charge in there automatically. It's just the same. Um, I think USB C. I think cable. So. I didn't know they would do it low, so I'll just put them on. So while they're charging there, we charge the batteries, which also lasts for ages. Fantastic. Better than the GoPro because they have like a ribbon instead of plastic. This is like plastic on the GoPro and it, it tends to, to like fold and get in the neck and fall off. So that's great. And um, we very rarely change the batteries because when we're not using the camera at dinner time, we just put the camera on charge and just top up the battery in the camera. So um, again, DJI Osmo Action 3, the camera, DJI mic and the DJI battery pack, everything fantastic. Way better than GoPro, highly recommend them. So back to the digging side. So there's the man hole, which we've already seen. Don't know how it's ended up with soil in it. Do you throw you soil a bit too far? So I put a mark out, the mark was banged on. Found the pipe. Can you show where the pipe is? Uh, it's buried again. Oh. It's that soft the ground we've been using post holes to get the muck out. So we're gonna open this up bagging up big enough to get in and cut the pipe and then start heading back towards the gully. It's there. <laughs> yeah, there. That's probably about two foot down now. Okay, probably about two and a half foot down altogether. Sorry about the wind. So we um, yeah, it's just basically going to whack this trench out as quick as we can. And then once that's it, dug, we're going to come over here. Hopefully this is the more straightforward side, because it's shallower and there's actually a pipe to connect onto here. We'll just be connecting onto the end of this clay. Whereas that's going to be a junction with two, two band seals on each end, so we can drop it in and connect it up. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's find something a bit better for this camera. There it is. Oh, oh yeah, still recording. There it is. There. <laughs> there it is. So that's the deepest point of any of our digging that. So it all gets easier from there. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's two and a half foot. Don't forget this is a raised patio, which, which is gave us a load of extra digging. This is all coming out eventually. So that's the other thing when we um, come through here. Through here into the, once we smash all this up, it's, it, we can chuck all the bricks and that on that pile. It's going in the recycling pile. Flags again smashed up and over there and then we'll just leave this level. So um, yeah, let's carry on.
excuse the wind, it's just a quick update, so I'm not putting the mics on. Here we go. So I'll speak now because I'm not near the camera. So going great guns here, nice beautiful soil and then even down to the nice white sand now down this section here. As you can see we've got a pipe running down parallel with our, dra our channel which is, staying, which is staying in. So we're going to come along here roughly alongside that gully and then we're going to put a very slight turn in it up to our new gully there. Even that doesn't have to have a slight turn, we can put it, we can come straight, we can come straight along here and then just put the bend into the gully at the end there. So yeah, because we might be a bit close to the foundation there. I'm guessing this foundation isn't very deep on this extension. So yeah, coming out nice. Very nice. Um, that's it. We'll just uh, back in town, let's just keep digging. I won't go any deeper there mate. I reckon we're putting not far off our depth there. Sure. We need to start working our way back now. Start taking these flags up and I don't know what time it is, but um, probably heading for much time soon, but we're doing alright. An Apple Watch? Yeah. Is that the new style? Apple Watch Max. Nice. So Half eleven. Half eleven. See you in a bit. Notice on the time lapse we left you recording over dinner. Oops, we should, we should be um, charging over dinner. But yeah, Alex has just got that lump to take out and then pretty much straight back now. Sorry about the wind. And this pipe, which we thought goes down into the and connects into the, the main, we're not sure if that pipe is that end there, but that end goes disappears into nothing. We're not sure if that's been put in as a soakway or what, but. We'll have to see what goes on there. But um, if, if that is that pipe, then we'll just disregard this gully and then Robbie and Robbie can put the downspout into the gully at this end. So, keep digging. We'll try and get all this out today. So we're ready for a good start on Monday when it's going to rain. But, um, yeah, hopefully get all this out. Let's get out this wind. Get all this out and make a start over there, see if we can find the pipes. So yeah, it's coming up one o'clock, so we'll get stuck in and carry on. Sun's out now. It's not three o'clock yet, because um, pick of the pops is still on. All right. I've no, I've not heard any of it. No. Anyway, um, I'll give you a little uh, Death Star trench run of where we're at so far with this one. So, stand by, Red Five. Give me 
the So the next botch up was uh, this. Obviously, we said before we saw the pipe, which we thought I had to connect to there, which it does, but there's nothing coming out of it because it's blocked completely with like crap and roots. And uh, there's how they've connected it to the existing. They just smashed. They smashed a hole in it, put just butted up to it, and put a uh, like half a collar in, so it would like ricochet into the hole. No, then just then throw some DPM thrown over it. So that's another bot job. We did worry and think we found the wrong pipe, didn't we? Yeah, for a minute we thought we had the wrong pipe. So now we're over there. Can I throw my piles, show my piles of shit? There's some big piles of shit. Tell you what, I wish every dig was like that. I know. I actually enjoyed that. Like I didn't think we'd be this far today. No. I enjoyed that dig. Let me get the tape measure. While he's doing that, we're there now, and now I know what's happening. We're finding the, an existing pipe and just connect, giving it a uh, connection up here for the waste pipe to connect to once it's been transferred outside. So yeah, I'll listen, I'll listen sometimes. But that's our next task, and then we'll be here Monday for the rain to get all these pipes in. And that's the end of the train. Get the friggin' smears off. There we go. Yeah, well, sorry, sorry, Nia. Shit. <laughs> there we go. That pipe's exposed, and as you can see, there's two collars on it. So we can just break it off at one collar and smack it on. Don't even need to cut it. So, very happy days. We've got both. Got the hole dug and the trench dug. I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> but pretty damn pretty damn good day if you ask me. I was uh I was dreading today. I always dread digging for drains because the last one we did at Roy's. Oh that was awful. But this one bloody hell. Like Dad said, I wish all digs were like this. But that'll be us for today then. We will be back here Monday with the pipes and the pipe bedding so you will see us then when we're installing so time skip to the future morning morning it is um tuesday because monday we were rained off immensely we got to berries picked up all our um most of our pipe stuff and it was just absolutely chucking it down so um we thought We'll um, go home, have like our lunch and everything, see what happens. And just kept going till like two o'clock. And then uh, and then Daisy came over, so we had to babysit Daisy with mum while, while Sarah had to go off. So yeah, we ended up not coming in yesterday. But thankfully, the muck doesn't look too uh, slushy. Still quite, mm, still quite nice actually. Thank God. We were dreading this was going to be slush. But yeah, there's where we, there's where we were left off at. Changing that, adding one there. You know all this. So we're going to get that fence panel took out, so we can get our stone brought in and get all this set in. Brought our laser level with us today. 
and we can get all that sorted. I will get you set up then in the meantime while we get this fence panel removed. I'll go and get the stuff then. I think getting the cutter out to cut all the pipes out and then it's just a case of getting our pipe stuff. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Let's go in. Right, I'm sure Alex has just gone around and explained all this, but yep. that's the last job. Because once that's done, there's no toilet in the house. Which is, um, obviously we need the toilet today. So that's last job. N next job is go along this trench and bottom it out where all the cavings have happened. That's all fell off the pipe there. The pipe's in the way now, so I'll be knocking that off so I can get in with this, the, um, the saw to get this pipe cut off. And then we'll be getting prepped for the um, for our, our T-junction to go in. So when I get Messing around down here with the power tools, Alex can start coming along here getting all the loose stuff out. But yeah, I'll set it up there, Al, and shine it towards the fence. I'm just getting set in the laser level up now so we can just dip off the laser level to check we're okay. The other way you could do it is with a string line as well. So, anyway, wind's getting up, let's go back to time lapse. Go on, that's what I meant to say. Pick some of this up yesterday. The real deal, the stuff you're supposed to use. And I can see why people use fairy liquid, because that was about 18 quid. So we'll be looking after that, 18 quid. You could get better stuff from Asda. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to go into details. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Right, you get cracking on here, Alex, and I'll get cracking. You might as well use the, um, the new spade, because it's a bit narrow. I think we we'll put it away. Let's do this. <laughs> These things are tame. Oh, that was moving. Oh wow. <laughs> there he goes. Grass is covered in them. Uh, grasshoppers and earwigs. Isn't it? Garden's full of them. Yeah. There you go.
but when he's digging the hole further so it's going like this and it's going to have an 11 and a half degree bend just to throw it back which is plenty it's still get, you still get the rod down it I've lined the pipes up as best I can so now Tight. Yeah, you better come off. Now onto the plastic. This kinks off a bit because it's big. Bit easier than so a much better than the screwdriver. Hard to see that, yeah. Especially down here. So. I've lubricated this so I can push it. Oh, God, there's just no room. No. I've lubricated so I can push it over the collar like that so I can line it up. Because we don't want a kink in it where the, where the bottom of the pipes meet. I want that quite a smooth transition there so I can feel that. That's nice and tight there. There's no gaps in it. So now we slide that back up. Get this rascal in position. Beautiful job. Lovely. Nice and tight. So, we can start coming backwards now. Maybe come out with a couple of foot piece. About there, and then we can put a bend in it then. Mm -hmm. So, we get some, um, some stone. Get some stone under there before we start. Right, 5%, I better be quick. I've been editing it, and it seems to be that we're always going for a break. Excuse the wind again, haven't got the mics in. But uh, yeah, we always do an update before we go for a break. So, yeah, there we go. We're in. Toilets can be used again now, but by the time we've done that this afternoon, the toilet will be out of, out of action. So yeah, we can start going backwards now, back to our gully. And we can start stoning up in a bit. So yeah, always fiddly, but we've got we've done it. That rattle makes all the difference with the uh, the band seal. It's just quick and easy. And um, yeah, it's all in line now. Nice job, because that's the main main sewer for the house. It goes off into the the main over there. This six inch main goes out into the road. So I expect there's a manhole just outside in the street. Nope. So I don't know where that, that main goes out that way. So, usually, it should be two manholes. So, there are. There's the nearest two manholes down there in the main in the main road. I don't know how you're supposed to rob that. Obviously, that way and that way. So, yeah. Alex is gone. I'm going to head to the van now and get a nice little break. So, straight pipe as far as it'll go until it hits the other side. Then we're going to put that 11 and a half degree back and take it straight. And then there'll be a couple of straight couplers because we've got three, 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 three metre lengths. I wasn't strapping a six metre length pipe to the van yesterday. Too wet and windy. So yeah, back on it after break.
dad's just nipping off now to go grab another either 11 or 15 degree connector there just to make that so while he's doing that I've got a job to do involving some bricks I've got some th this this was uh, in there along with a fiberglass pipe there it is so that's obviously not in use anymore I've got those two bricks out it was only two bricks thankfully so I've got those two out so we're gonna replace them with the with the new bricks and there's one up there somewhere it's like it's the face is blown off so I'll get rid of that and replace that I think he wants two cores of brick going inside on the window on the inside part of the window just to level up for the sill I think he said so I'll get that done now I'll do a little hand mix and yeah that's about it when dad comes back we'll get that done and then all that's left is that happy days catching a bit I'm back from Fairwoods the uh, just a just a miscalculation here just needed two fittings not uh, uh, three fittings not two so I've just picked up a, a 15 I think so I can put a 15 onto here to drop it down to that straight up obviously that pipe needs lifting up without the wind so that pipe needs lifting up slightly and that'll drop down into that so that um, don't even need to check that fall that's got a hell of a fall on that but a nice gradual fall right down to our junction which is now buried I'm actually just patching those two brick in that um, like that, that piece of dipped in through there and um, there's one up on the roof to do so um, while he's doing that I'm going to finish this bit off and then um, I'll film it properly so you can see what's going on Al can you just chuck me gloves please right let's get, uh, get you set up Shit. That's no good, is it? I mean, that's been trodden on. Oh, can you grab that pipe, please? Which one? Once it's fell in. Yeah. 
Oh, you're using that to... Stop. Oh, it's only temporary. Trench. So straight. Further over that way, that's it. Nice. I love that thumb. Thumb, yeah. <laughs> I think I've done this. Isn't I? Brick's done. Just that one up there, and then the ones in the window. Okay. So I've got to do a bit more of a mix. <sighs> Yeah, that's what makes it roddable. I don't know where the lid is. Me neither. Don't tell me I picked one without a lid. I bet I did, you know. I have to buy a lid. I guess we've got a spare one in the garage. Just lift that up, please, mate. On it. Hey! Looks like he's sneezing on it. Hang on. Say again. Looks like he's sneezing on it. It's disgusting, isn't it? So you don't need to lubricate the, the, pop, the socket and the pipe, but if you do, you've got a lot more adjustment in it. And you can spin it. Yeah, exactly. Some stone around it. Just push that in that way a bit, mate. Just touch. That's it. I shouldn't make it go as dirty there, but. It's out of there, huh? Hmm? You got gloves on? Yeah. Just scrape a bit of sand from underneath the bottom of it, and you see the down touch. Just the glue. This part. Just the glue, yeah. Directly below, below where I am. It's not going that close to the wall. A bit further across the trench towards me. That's it. Got him. That's it. Nice. I hope there's a lid in the bloody van. There we go, we're all done. Tons of fall on that. So that's the existing pipe that's completely useless. We're just leaving that in, no point in taking that out. So now we're going to get this leveled with stone, get it packed up with stone, and then I'll backfill. We're going to use all this to backfill, and what's left we're going to throw over there so the grab can reach it. Left over pipe. Hopefully, I can find the lid in the van. If I can't, I'll have to buy a pretty lid. I forgot to pick one up for berries yesterday. How'd you forget a lid? Uh, anyway, yeah, they're not expensive. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to uh, get back from this while Alex is up there. Get some uh, lone brick out for us. Paul's asked us to do that brick there. Just point at it, Al. Yeah, it's been drilled and blown, so we're sorting that out while we can. He's already done those two down there. So I'm getting on the uh, stone now. And we can get this all back on. Go back to town. Careful. Uh, I don't think so. There you go, look at that. 
Boom. Boom. <laughs> that, I cannot get over how easy that was compared to the last one. There we go. That's, that's the big one done. <laughs> So all we've got left is that other one where we're just making it a, an L, a 90 degrees one. See, that's about it. Just go backfill this now with all that crap and then happy days. So we'll catch you over there for the next part. Right. The gully's got water in it, it just wants a little bit to tip it over the edge so it runs and we'll show you what happens far away. Have a look away as it falls it. Down here, you can hear it in here then. There you go. Stops a good one. That, that, yeah, good. Flowing nicely. That, that dirty water was just the dust from the clay pipes when we cut the pipes. So, as you can see, it runs clear now. So that's our foul and that's our gully so that proves we've connected to the right pipe. You'd be, you'd be surprised how many people say we've connected to the wrong pipe. And, uh, and uh, Someone will probably put in the comments where it's tie wires even though we're not building the wall. <laughs> so there you go. That all in, stoned up, ready to go. We've dropped the gully down slightly because it's um, the ground's a bit high there and it's all getting redone. So what we're going to do now is get this backfilled. Well Alex is going to get it backfilled while I start on this. And then once it's back filled, we're just going to put the flags back loose on top, just so it's tidyish. No bedding. Just scrape it down low and just drop the, pipe, the flags in. Right. right. So just all that. This, yep. this pile then. Yeah. Get your big spade. You'll be quick with the big spade, and use as much of this as you can up there. Oh, use as much of that in there as you can, and anything left, use it down here, because this is reachable by the grab wagon, whereas that isn't. So it's imperative we get rid of that. Give it a good brush and then we'll drop the flags back on later. While he's doing that, I'm going over there to get started on that. Yeah, I just need to go in there and do them bricks. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. So, um, yeah, head over there now, we'll get cracking on that. You might want to get in there. dropped. There you go. I've shown this before, all backfilled. Bully's in, tested it. Alex started backfilling. He's just nipped to the bricks up there in the bathroom. A couple of doing loose ones on the internal wall. And then, um, yeah, he's going to start getting rid of all this, get it all back filled. Okay. I'm going to get on this now. I'll cut it back to the light coloured pipe. To this pipe. Because we want to go this way a bit. As much as we can. So yeah, that's what that's the plan. I'll have to smash it out there and then we can pull it out from there. So yeah, let's get cracking on this. Explain what I've been doing. As you can see, when we, we uh, oh, what's it called? I forgot what the bend's called. Yeah. I forgot what that bend's called. 90 degree angle on L. No, it's got a name. It's a sweat bend, something like that. Oh. Uh. It's a special bend anyway, it's got a foot on the back of it so it doesn't drop. That's for your soil pipe to come down into. So, what I've done with um, meeting the clay is I've actually chamfered the pipe off that much that it just just slots inside the clay, so it can, so it, it uh, locates itself bang on. So um, 
I know that it's perfectly aligned there because of where this bend is here. So now I can put the, the band seal on and um, a rest bend, that's what it's called, a rest bend. Yeah, uh, so now I can put the band seal on, get it all sealed up, get it back filled. Just put a length of pipe out to bring it out of the ground and then um, think. But if I stick it out of the ground far enough, then the plumber can always take the top off and put the black on top of it or whatever colour they're going to use. I think it's black. And then make sure it's helpful the toilet is disconnected. So yeah, um, Alex is doing all around here. He's finished all the brick laying, all patching. He's currently back fully. Should have disappeared that lot, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, as you see my test, it's all working. So he's just getting all that in there. Brushing it all, brushing it flat, and then just throwing the flags back down loose. Just, um, just for, for now, until it gets done properly. Like I say, all the whole garden's getting done. This raised patio is getting dropped because these are going to be patio doors here and here. So the raised patio needs to go. So everything's getting dropped and levelled. So, um, right, I'll get back to the time lapse while I get this last little bit done, and then I'll jump on this with Alex. Can we do it? Well, what dream work? That was the easiest drainage we've ever done. I like it. So, just to recap, we have dug down and found that pipe there, connected a T to it so we could have a gully over there, and we have brought this up to take the waste from the inside to the outside. Now we're just, uh, we've backfilled it and now we're just laying down the flags until the garden's done just so it's safe. Yeah, that was a pretty productive day in two days. So I better make this wrap up quick because the battery's going to die. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Pipe Playing with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next video.